Hi Capricorn, welcome back and you're watching The Sacred Sun Tarot. So let's see, oh, message in the bottle, that's interesting. Let's see what is this new year bringing for you. New year, new month, very happy holidays to all of you guys, first of all. And uh, I know I've been posting a little less frequently from the past few days, a little occupied, but I'll, I'll try to catch up. A very happy new year and Merry Christmas to all of you, right? Let's dive in. Um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, Jupiter, New Year, New Month. Okay, thank you. A lot of cards. TikTok, time for nap. Now, these are very contradictory energies. Don't you think so? This new year, new month coming in, uh, Capricorn, I feel you just need to keep a little patience. There's something in the process. There's something under process i would say in the pipeline for some of you i'm picking up that uh, something has happened and now there's some sort of gap or you will experience some sort of gap in the situation whatever you're going through i don't know love work money we're gonna dive in deep and see a lot of things we're gonna have these uh, cards for you at the end for the overall year theme right what is going to be the theme of this year at the end of the reading though but what I see from these cards, I'm picking up here, Capricorn, that this is the time, the time coming in here is uh, the time you take sufficient gap, sufficient break and rest. You need to um, calm down and rest for some time because I'm picking up some massive changes are going to be coming your way very soon. And this TikTok energy is very much like the tower card for me, you know, it's going to blast. It's going to be coming out as boom. So this year, uh, for a lot of you, I see, uh, you can take it as advice. You can see as the energy is coming your way. And oh my God, I, I totally see that. Something is going to revive. For some of you, I'm getting that theme that something happened in past. It was unexpected. And then things went, went silent. Or uh, you will experience some sort of silence in between. But don't get fooled by that silence, you know, because things are going to regenerate and they're, gonna, they're going to regenerate in a way. I'm picking up fire, I'm picking up lava, I'm picking up ash, I'm picking up, you know, light and bright light. I see the flowers. So it's going to be a mix of a lot of things, you know, a lot of things. It's just an intuitive message. So... Let's see what Tarot has to say, Capricorn. Very interesting messages for the new year. Let's dive in. Let's have a few cards for you, right? We're going to see where you're coming from, how you're entering this new year, new month. And um, a couple of advices, right? We're going to have some theme cards also at the end. And uh, we're also going to see what energies you need to keep in mind, right? People or relationships or work money, whatever, whatever messages come through, right? So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, New Year, New Month, right? I am quite excited for this New Year. Okay, Capricorn. So, um, let's see. Fool. For a lot of you, I see the changes have happened in the recent past. I won't really see recent past, but I see these are the current energies going on. Some TikTok moment, this is that tower moment we're talking about that has happened, and you took a leap of faith. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that this week, at the end of the December, right, this last week of this year, you're making some changes, you're taking some big, bold steps, you're just starting new journeys, and you're taking the leap of faith. I see this is calling for a lot of investment, this is calling for a lot of um, giving energy. For a lot of you, be very careful how much you're giving to the other people, because this can result in some sort of financial constraints in the near future. Sometimes when we overgive in the situations, and then we have expectations that, you know, sometimes they don't get fulfilled. And this results in this energy. And for a lot of you, I'm totally getting this energy. Can you see the concurrence? Something happened, you took a leap of faith, and for a lot of you, it was a divine calling. Maybe it was some sudden incident that forced you to take a leap of faith or jump into something, or this can happen over the next few days. And you start investing, you start putting effort. For a lot of you, this is a calling that I need to put my money in this sort of share or something like that. You know, I need to invest in this relationship. I need to... I'm really sorry. Little cuff and cold. Okay. <laughs> weather weather okay so whatever you invested in there's a feeling that i'm picking up there's some sort of gap here right some sort of gap 
I'm not picking up ghosting as such, but for a lot of you, you're expecting somebody's call, response, some some energy coming your way, you know, some there is some expectation and there is silence. There's lack of response from a situation that's it's probably hurting you. This is the same energy here. Time for a nap. Universe is telling you, take a break, don't overthink, don't stress yourself out, right? Okay, what else? Capricorn. Oh my god, I told you. It is just a phase. It's a little phase and the silence is going to be breaking. I'm telling you, cards are repeating and this is such a big confirmation. I see the tower here, Capricorn. Boom. It's 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 about to blast. And then for a lot of you, the healing you need, the relaxation you need, the break you need. Universe is continuously telling you the same thing. Now see, tower with the temperance. TikTok, take a nap. Both these cards, they are in congruence. This is a confirmation. You guys need to heal you need to focus on your healing you need to be equipped for a lot of you I'm, I'm picking up that when that moment of regeneration is going to come in that will be like blasting over you right very unexpected shifts and very unexpected moments quick quick activity to be prepared for that change you need to regenerate yourself you need to re-energize yourself you need that sufficient time gap and patience right because <coughs> i'm sorry oh wow because again new journey new cycle new birth universe is pushing you towards a very new journey and this year will be a transformative year i'm picking up because you'll be having a lot of new journeys starting in this year for a lot of you uh, suddenly some past detachments are going to take place maybe you're just going to let go of people of the past maybe some past people are going to unexpectedly revive back in your life some transformative moments are going to happen. So I'm picking up some very big cycles are going to be shifting this year in your life. Especially as you enter the month of January, I see that you're letting go of some things. This is a moment of release that whatever was happening in the past year, I'm just, you know, putting everything back and I'm ready for new things. If people didn't support you or didn't, didn't level up for you, I'm picking up that you are just protecting yourself in this beautiful golden circle and you're ready for the new journey ahead. Very positive changes. Three of Wands. Totally makes sense. Queen of Wands in the reverse position. For a lot of you, I'm getting this energy that over time, <clears throat> especially over this new year, uh, you know, this whole phase of holidays and um, I, I'm picking up that you, you'll be encountering a lot of new opportunities and something is going to happen that will motivate you to stop waiting for something, right? I don't know what you're waiting on to. I'm not really picking up any stuck energy, honestly. I don't think anything is stuck or you're waiting for something uh, like like crazy. No, I don't think so. But yes, there was something you were patiently expecting, if, if I'm putting it in the right way. I'm picking up that something is just going to lose passion. Like you are going to lose passion from something unexpectedly, Capricorn. And you're no more attracted to that energy. You don't you no more want that energy. You don't more, you no more care about that energy. It's going to be a change. So you take it your way, how it resonates with you, you're gonna see that. But I'm feeling that uh, something is no more a passion to you. You that thing doesn't attract you anymore. So in the near future I see uh, this gap, this healing, this break is going to make you realize that I was just obsessing about something which probably isn't that important or isn't that important anymore. Maybe it was at some point in past, but not now, not now anymore. Have fun. A new commitments, new partnerships. For a lot of you, you might plan to get married this year. Towards the end of this year, I heard for some of you, or maybe in the beginning also. I won't be shocked. But yes, there is commitment on the horizon too this year. For a lot of you, if you're waiting on to some sort of a third energy, there was some third party energy in your connection, in your relationship. I have a good news for you. Um, this year is definitely starting with some good news. In the beginning, you might feel a little bit, you know, uh, discomfort i should say but yes i see your commitment is getting sorted this year if you had troubles with third parties or if you had troubles with uh, um somebody interfering in your connection i see things really getting better over this year magician and you will have the power i'm telling you world hierophant and magician with the knight of wands energy lovely energy lovely energy my god
Capricorn, I am feeling such a good vibration for you guys. Let's see. I see towards the end of this year, you're going to be coming back in your power. You will feel I'm a go-getter. You will feel that I can achieve things. I can make them happen. Wow, a pretty good energy. Capricorn, okay, we have some cards here flipped over. Wallflower, limited potential. A lot of cards are going to put them back. Destiny, past life. Work and ice queen. Somebody at your workplace, maybe a boss, a manager can be a little rude. So be careful with that. This person can cause some trouble this month. And um, I wouldn't go to the extreme of saying this whole year. But yes, I'm getting this month energy for some of you. And I'm picking up that some destiny changes at your workplace are also going to happen. More messages for, uh, I'm sorry, Capricorn. Yeah, more messages for Capricorn for this new month. Communication. I see messages arriving, phone calls, texts, online messages, emails, a lot of communication. I see your work front also. A lot of communication is going to take place. For some of you, I see expecting a communication. It is going to arrive in a very unexpected way. So you're going to be expecting something. It's not going to come at that time. And when you will lose the interest and you feel that, okay, I'm not expecting this anymore, boom, it will arrive. So something like that is definitely happening. There's a union coming in. For a lot of you, I do pick up marriages, commitments, getting into relationships. And this is definitely helping you end past cycles. So these new commitments and partnerships. And for a lot of you, this is definitely love. But for the rest of you, these are other matters. Bingo to inflame. So whatever these matters are, I, I feel this is closure, right? World sometimes make, makes me feel that it's a time to get closure like as the previous year closes down it's time to get closure from all the past unresolved issues and unresolved traumas and sometimes just past unresolved affairs whatever whatever that what was i do see new relationship and but for that you will have to have that freedom of being single being lighted you know this is lightness being casual knight of wands you need to get over some things and capricorn once you do that these new rela these new um, partnerships right can be a specific relationship it's going to come in right and really i'm getting really positive messages right so overall okay i'm going to have love messages for you first and then we are going to have a couple of cards from this deck for your overall year you need to keep in mind right so general messages for the overall year but i'm going to have love messages too first if you're dealing in some any, I'm sorry, if you're dealing in any love situation this month or if you have any specific person on your mind, let's have these cards also because I do see some love matters surrounding here. For, for someone specific, I heard that a third party is finally leaving the scenes and you will be free from third parties. You're, you're getting closures of the past. If you were having a third involvement or if your partner was having a third involvement, it's not going to be there anymore. For some of you, if you are in a commitment and you were stuck on somebody from the past or something like that, that's no longer there. I feel quite positive energy. Love yourself first. For a lot of you, universe is telling you that you need to, again, take time for nap and temperance. Universe is telling you that you need to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And you need that break time for healing, for resting, you know. Again, wedding is on the cards. For a lot of you this year, yes, it can be a, a possibility, right? A union, a marriage, a hierophant, wedding, union, all these cards, they talk in the same way, right? Anything else for Capricorn? True love, Capricorn. I'm getting good messages for you. Once you start loving yourself, universe is going to start manifesting exactly what you desire for, right? The dating thing, true love, totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. What else? Give your relationship uh, a chance. For a lot of you, I do see a past person also trying to interfere in the connection, but you're having a fair mind that, okay, this is what I truly want. I do see past reviving too, but you exactly know what is the right connection for you and what do you want to work over? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expectations. Lovely energy overall. So let's have a couple of cards from this deck. So this is going to tell you the theme of this whole year, right? What you can expect. Health. Wow. What is the overall energy for this year for Capricorn? New year. 
new uh, energy i'm picking up for a lot of you especially with this ascension freedom card i feel new year new energy capricorn acceptance so capricorn for a lot of you universe is telling you to take a break and accept the changes that are coming your way accept the closures i'm learning to accept the things that i cannot change there has been some past moments maybe you took some leap of faith you decided on some things and you did not get the i'm picking up that you did not get the required effort or you know things you were expecting your expectations were not met in past universe is telling you that trust the divine trust I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Listen to your intuition. Accept few things. If, you, if your intuition is telling you that maybe in past you invested at the wrong place, in a wrong person or at the wrong time, it's time to accept some closures now because universe is promising you something so beautiful in the near future. I don't really pick up any single or committed relationship because I'm, I'm getting both the messages for a lot of you this month specifically and all the singles out there guys go out dating right go out dating you're gonna find your true love <laughs> what else for capricorn regret and loneliness for a lot of you i'm picking up the energy that stop uh, regretting in uh, you know this, this year you have to keep in mind that you don't have to regret what happened in past five of pentacles energy I know that I cannot change the past. So it's very important that whatever happened, again, all these cards are pointing in the same direction. If you're stuck on something, if you are still feeling that, you know, I could have done something better or I could have changed the outcome. No, you couldn't have done anything because some things are destined and they happen in the way universe decides. So do not have regrets in the past, regrets of the past, you know. think There are things that you just cannot change and remember that you're never alone. This loneliness isn't that hermit energy. This is the energy where you know that despite, sometimes you might have phases when you don't Find the right people who can support you or who can be with you, but you remember that you're never alone because you have to understand that you're universally guided and there is a divine power always supporting you in your ventures. And specifically when it comes to dating, I see you guys are not really, um, you know, dis deciding on to be single or alone for a very long time. I see you might be giving a chance to a couple of um, people this year even more and then you're going to definitely find true love and we have imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind so it was a lovely energy capricorn i'm picking up very good uh vibes from this reading so i'm gonna leave you here guys thank you so much for watching bye